Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here. We will be comparing the Galaxy Mega 6.3 uh, versus the Galaxy Note 2 in the browser experience uh, and also check out the speeds and a little bit like that. So just a thing that I want to uh, clear out first if you don't know. The Galaxy Note is of course Samsung's Note series uh, and the special thing about this phone is that it do come with the S Pen and a lot of S Pen features and that's really something that makes the device special. Also, uh, the Galaxy Note series uh, is uh, Samsung's uh, uh, some, is a series which is coming with high-end flagship specs uh, but in a Note fashion, not just normal a Gal Samsung's normal Galaxy lineup uh, but there is this, is this is the bigger variant, the Note series uh, with better specs or with high-end specs while the new Galaxy Mega series here with the Galaxy Mega 6.3 uh, Samsung also has released another variant uh, which is their uh, the, the Mega 5.8 inch uh, or Mega 5.8 uh, this is like mid. This comes with mid-range specs, so dual core processor, not quad core. Little worse camera, but still pretty decent. Eight megapixel shooter, TFT uh, screen, uh, only eight gigabytes of internal storage. They do have a sixteen gigabyte variant though, but uh, a little bit lower there on the spec side. Not as good. Not Samsung's own Exynos uh, GPU uh, or chipset. It's the Adreno three hundred five, so not as good as on the S four. A little bit down clock there, uh, so that's so it's definitely just that they are trying to make this more this phone for people that really just want a big, huge, solid device. So let's just fire up the browser here on both these two devices. You can see I have the Verge popped up. Uh, also, what's so cool about the Galaxy Mega 6.3? I mean, it's a big phone. It's a big phone, uh, but it's eight millimeters in thickness compared to nine point four millimeters. Uh, of the the Galaxy Note uh, 2, so it really feels like a thin device, uh, and just because it has this S4 design with the beautiful big fat sides, uh, it it feels extremely attractive in the hand. This is a very expensive device, though. It's a very very expensive device. Uh, of course, it comes with the same HD resolution here as the uh, Galaxy Note 2. Uh, but still very very expensive device and of course lower PPI here than the Note 2 because it, it's a 6.3 inch instead of 5.5 inch uh, but it's thinner uh, which is making it doesn't feel it, it is so insanely big that you can't even have it in your pocket or can't uh, use it of course this is a device that you mostly will use with two hands uh, even more than what you would have to do uh, with the original, a little bit more bulkier here, no two phone. But this one's a little bit, of course, a little bit more solid in its way that it has a little bit higher specs and also the S Pen. So uh, when we are here inside of the browser, we can see we have Samsung's own browser up here. You can definitely see the difference here up here uh, that uh, when we are on the Verge website up here, you can't almost, you can't almost see the full page. Uh, where uh, on the Galaxy Mega is because it's so insanely big it really really makes an insanely big difference there which uh, is adding a lot of space uh, which is extremely nice uh, also in terms of the display quality here when we're looking at these two screens of course uh, the AMOLED display here is first has way better viewing angles when you look at the phone from the sides uh, than the TFT the, the LCD display that you do get uh, on the uh, that you do get on, on the Galaxy Mega. But that phone though is displaying probably the color white a little bit better because the usual LCD displays is doing that. But the contrast also is not as good. Colors definitely looks a little bit more or way more vibrant here and interesting and cool looking here uh, than uh, what the colors are doing here uh, on the Mega. But it's not super bad, okay? It's not super bad. It's still very, very good here. Uh, but then, of course, the device costs a lot of money. Uh, where I pick it up right now, the Galaxy Mega 6.3 actually costs more than the Note. And then you should remember that you do actually get an S Pen here uh, with that bad boy. So when we go in and out here also, you can see that it's actually better here on the Note 2. At least in the beginning, didn't have to re-render too much. Uh, so if you tap on something here... Of course, uh, in, definitely not when I zoom in here. I can never see uh, from uh, when uh, uh, the viewing angle where I'm from, it, it looks so much better here on the Note 2 when I'm behind uh, the camera. So uh, the speed shouldn't actually be a major difference here. Both are 4G phones and right now I'm on my Wi-Fi network. Uh, 
Okay, it did load up a little bit quicker there on the Mega. And of course, also here, it's way easier to read the text. And that's just the, the cool thing here about uh, the Galaxy Mega. Let's just make one swipe down like that. You can see that we did hit the bottom here. No, we did not. Take a look at this picture. And you can see how different they are in terms of its size. Also, let's see here if we can do double tap. Same as it was, as you can see here also with the text, it, it is pretty easier to read here, or it's a lot easier. I'm not sure if the, uh, I mean, we do a look at the same text here. Here it's a little bit cranked up a little bit, uh, while here it's a little bit better organized. So it definitely could be extremely nice here with, uh, with the Mega. Wow, I'm pretty impressed here. I'm not sure why it looks so weird. It's kind of hard to read here on the note too because if I want to read everything, I need to zoom in here. This one is in the way. Uh, while on the, this bigger phone here, it is actually easier. So it can really, really be an advantage of having the Galaxy Mega. Uh, but then we should not forget, let's see here. Uh, we can also check out the tab. Wait a second, let's just go back one step. Also, going back here is a little bit quicker. Uh, we should not forget about the S Pen, which is extremely good, or could be extremely good if you use all of the different features that you can use. Uh, now, um, let's see here if I can remember. So, let's say I want to take out this little part. There we go. I can easily instantly start to share that little thing. Um, let's see here also if I just hold in. There we go. It takes a picture. And then we can quickly start to edit it on top. Now this is something that I, as a creative guy, I do like it a ton. I mean, I do like creating videos and pictures and everything. And this could be extremely fun. The S Pen is really, really good. I mean, it has so many features uh, that is available. I use it a ton. May, you may not be that much interested in it. We'll see here also if we can add a note even when we are inside of the browser. There we go. So we can just quickly add a little note. We can scribble something down even when we are inside of the browser. I, I think that's a that's a cool, extremely cool thing. And also that the S Pen has been updated so much. Uh, it really is interesting here. Uh, what uh, it really is like a hard choice here. Uh, I would definitely, if I would, if I would want to go safe, I would definitely go uh, uh, with the note still, or just wait for the new generation note that's gonna come pretty soon. The note three is probably gonna come in a few months. But uh, you won't notice that a major big difference here in terms of its performance over like this. It's mostly the um, the things that you do see. The white looks very good on the TFT display. It's almost like a yellowish tone here uh, on the AMOLED display, which is quite interesting uh, to think about. And also, let's see here if we try to read this text. If you zoom in like this. I mean, the text really, really, it really is doing a difference here. It's way bigger here uh, when we are hovering over the same text here. And uh, as I said, this is mostly going to be a phone that you will use with two hands, but you can definitely hold it with one hand. Or the cool thing with this large display is that you can definitely use it as, you can just put it, if you are in bed, you can just put it on your legs or something and you can read the text. It would definitely be cool to see like a text reflow feature that HTC One has. So when you go in like this, and that it automatically re reflows. But then we should also have this reading mode up here at the top or 
I'm really not sure if we do have the reading mode up here that we do get sometimes with Apple devices. Maybe, let's say you just want to read this text and maybe you want to have the pay, uh, let's see here, settings, save pages. So you do have the same kind of features over here as well. You can also see that it is a little bit different here in terms of uh, the browser. It looks a little bit more bluish up here at the top uh, compared to, uh, to to the Note 2 that had, has another kind of sort of tone uh, up there at the top. Uh, so uh, just a quick little look here. Uh, if you want to see, uh, I'm probably also going to like do a full review or, and just compare other things also with these two phones. Uh, but uh, this was mostly for those people that wanted a video here uh, on the browser performance. You can definitely see here, pretty interesting also when I load up pages and stuff, that is, it is a little bit quicker here uh, on um, on the uh, the Galaxy Mega. And we can also check out what kind of version here I am running. Uh, what kind of version of Android I'm running. You can see here it's a little bit better here also in terms of its uh, the settings area, a little bit better organized, or quicker. Full went open too, so you can see I'm having a new version also here uh, on the on the Galaxy Mega compared to the Note's uh, 4.1 Jelly Bean. So a new version of Jelly Bean here. So you can see the Android 4.1 versus Android, the newer version basically. Uh, both are amazing devices, I love both, uh, I really really do love both and I really can't wait to see the next Note because I really do believe that the S Pen is, is a big, big big thing for, you can really take advantage of it, uh, especially if you are, as I said, if you are one of those guys that takes a lot of pictures, you want to edit stuff, you want to use the S Note, uh, you can use the S Pen in a lot of different things, so uh, extremely cool, uh, also remember that the Galaxy Mega also comes uh, with some of the features in the S4, uh, so if you go down like this, you do get some extra additions here that you don't have in the Note 2, like Smart Stay. Uh, you do have AirView, uh, which is pretty cool, but you don't get all of the S4 features. But AirView is pretty epic that when you hover over some kind of text, you don't even have to touch the display, uh, it will zoom in automatically. So, insanely cool, insanely awesome. Um, so, hopefully, you did enjoy this video. And hopefully you can give some feedback down below. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah. Peace.